The vote goes through. It's the first change in prime minister since 2012. So it's all going according to plan. Now we want to know, does he carry the Abenomics torch forward? Good morning, Karumi. Good morning. Yeah, so the Japanese ruling party leader, Yoshihide Suge, Suga, sorry, that officially makes him the next prime minister of Japan. He was elected prime minister in a parliamentary vote uh, shortly ago. The new cabinet led by Suga will be announced later today at 3.30 p.m. local time, followed by a ceremony, and the first cabinet meeting will be held this evening. But this vote, making it official finally that Yoshihide Suga is Japan's new prime minister. So what exactly does that mean for the rest of the party and for sort of the political spectrum uh, as we look to the coming weeks? Right, well, he's naming his new cabinet later today. Suga has said he wants those who align with his thinking, regardless of faction. We're hearing that some of the key changes include Health Minister Katsunobu Kato, who will succeed Suga as Chief Cabinet Secretary. Local media reporting also Defense Minister Taro Kano will now be Reform Minister, and taking over for him as Defense Chief will be Shinzo Abe's younger brother, Nobuo Kishi. Other key members will stay on. Foreign Minister Motegi, Finance Minister Aso are among those who will keep their jobs to carry out policies focusing on fighting the pandemic while shoring up the Japanese economy. In terms of diversity, let's point out that only two female lawmakers are set to be appointed to key positions in the cabinet by Suga later today. That's Justice Minister Yoko Kamikawa and Seiko Hashimoto continuing her role as Olympics minister. So Abe's womenomics may not be reflected here too well. Um, but I suppose the commitment, it, it's about the commitment. Coyote News saying that, another news outlet saying that he will focus on reformers. Um, in terms of the priority for policy, obviously everybody wants to know what Suganomics is going to look like, but he was the arch architect in many ways of Abenomics, so that might not change that much, but he's got some pretty strident views on competition and consolidation. What are they? Right, that's exactly right. So he plans to keep pushing ahead with Abenomics because he was largely seen as a continuity candidate. But he has also said more should be done on the monetary and fiscal policy front if needed to protect jobs and companies during the pandemic. Suga has been outspoken on some issues, including the need for more competition among mobile phone providers to bring the fees down for consumers. He also wants to revitalize regional economies and is, is a strong proponent of introducing casino resorts to bolster tourism here. And when it comes to foreign policy, Suga has little direct experience, but says Japan's alliance with the United States will remain key. He also wants to maintain relations with neighboring countries like South Korea and largest trading partner, China.